Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So for my Doctor Who bonus video this week, I wanted to talk about all the new characters that they've cast for Series 8 so far. There are about 12 of them total, but I've grouped some of them together just because they appear in some of the same episodes. So there's also been a lot of rumors about the Rani as well as the Master, but I'm just going to talk about the people that they've officially announced first. So if you're finding me for the first time, I'm just feeding out a steady diet of Doctor Who videos until we get to the premiere of Series 8, which is a long, long ways off. So be sure to subscribe to get everything and feel free to leave me suggestions for future bonus videos to do in the comments below. So this is how I'm going to organize the video. I'm going to talk about each new character, including Peter Capaldi, and then list what we know about them, what's been confirmed, and then some of the rumors that we've heard about them. So, for instance, you know, we know Peter Capaldi is going to play the 12th Doctor, but there's also a rumor that he might secretly be playing the Master, which is a little bit ridiculous, but that's going to, you know, go in the rumor portion. I do have some episode details, but I'm going to save that for a separate video, but let's get started at the top. Number one is Peter Capaldi as the 12th Doctor, or 13th, depending on how you count the War Doctor, but here's what's been confirmed. The BBC has officially announced Capaldi as the Doctor, so barring any crazy plot twists, he'll complete Series 8 with a regular Christmas special. There's been no announcement as to Series 9, so we'll have to wait and see if he stays on. There has been a lot of talk about Moffat departing whenever Capaldi leaves, but tentatively, let's assume they're both here through Series 9 next year. So here's the biggest rumor I've seen for Capaldi, that he actually is playing the Master, and that's why he's only here for one series. So it hasn't been confirmed that he's only staying for one series. It's just what he's currently assigned to. And I think it's a rubbish rumor anyway, because the BBC officially announced him as the Doctor, and they wouldn't do that if he was going to secretly be someone else. And add to that, we literally saw Matt Smith regenerate into him during the last Christmas special. Number two, Jenna Louise Coleman, of course, as Clara Oswald. She's only been confirmed through Series 8, just like Capaldi, so no word on Series 9 yet, but primarily, she'll still have a warm relationship with the new, older Doctor. Most of the onset pics of them show her in generally good spirits, which is a really good thing. The only rumor that I've heard about her is that she will leave after Series 8, but I think it's more likely that she'll leave whenever Capaldi leaves, and whatever new Doctor comes along will get a new companion, just like whenever Matt Smith came on and he got Amy and Rory. Number 3, Samuel Anderson is Danny Pink. So a lot of sites are quoting him as a full-on companion, Rory style. Like a companion that doesn't bore the TARDIS right away, but later in the series becomes much more important. Officially, the BBC is just calling him a new recurring character at Clara's Coal Hill School as another teacher. So rumors, this is actually where it gets a little bit more interesting because a lot of people are thinking that he's going to be like Derek Jacoby in Series 3. You know, someone who is secretly the master just masquerading as someone else. We haven't seen any footage of him yet, so until then, it's going to be really hard to guess what his character arc is, and if in fact he is pretending to be someone he's not, master or no master. As for his relationship with Clara, I'm not expecting him to be a love interest, since that's kind of been done to death. Based on what the producers and the cast are saying, Series 8 is going to be much darker and more serious than the relationship comedy that Doctor Who turned into during Matt Smith's run. That doesn't mean there won't be any romance, it just means the story's not going to turn on love triangles. Number 4, Tony Wei is Alfie. In case you don't recognize him, he's totally playing Sir Dantos on Game of Thrones right now. Yay for crossovers. In Series 8, he's appearing in Episode 1, so he'll be on right away once the series starts. It's not a huge part, but it ties into the Jack the Ripper plot. There really aren't any big rumors for his role since it's a one-off and he's going to appear right away. Number 5, Tom Riley is Robin Hood. This is part of one of the episodes that Mark Gatiss is writing called Robots of Sherlock. That's the name of the episode. So you can understand why Riley is called Robin Hood. There's also a lot of pictures of Jenna Louise Coleman from that episode wielding a bow and arrow in a period costume. It looks really cool. No big rumors on this episode other than the robots in question are going to be the clockwork droids because those characters are rumored to return. Number 6, Ben Miller as an unnamed villain. The episode he's starring in is also one of the two that Mark Gatiss is writing, and we know one of those is the Robin Hood episode, but we don't know what the other one is. Stephen Moffat said that he would be playing a storming good villain. I don't know if that's meant to be taken literally as in Weather Storm, or figuratively as in Storm of Robots, a la Robots of Sherwood. His casting announcement was made the same week as Tom Riley's Robin Hood announcement, so for now let's just assume that his villain will appear in that Sherwood episode. There aren't any real rumors for his character, he's also supposed to be a one-off character, you know, in just one episode. So anytime anyone on Doctor Who is cast and has a beard right now, it seems like everyone thinks they're going to be the master. Number 7, Robert Goodman as Reg. His character will appear in episode 4 with a whole bunch of other guest actors that were just announced at the same time whenever Samuel Anderson was cast. Before Series 8, Goodman actually also started in a bunch of other Doctor Who serials and played a monster named the Mandrill during the 4th Doctor's run. 
No other big rumors about his character, but my number eight, I've grouped together two people that are also in that episode four with him. It's Jonathan Bailey and Pippa Bennett Warner. We don't really have any info about their characters, so I'm gonna move on to number nine, which is actually a pretty important person. Keely Hawes as Miss Del Fox, one of the really important villains. We actually know quite a bit about her character. She's gonna be an evil banker, and her episode will take place in the distant future, somewhere in the middle of series eight. The big rumor is, is that because she's such an amazing actress, her character could secretly be the Ronnie or even the female master. There is some precedence for gender swapping, but I think it's more likely that she's just a one-off villain that's going to be really big. It might return in like a future series. Number 10, Michael Smiley as Colonel Blue. He'll be starring in episode 2, the second of Ben Wheatley's two episodes. It seems like those episodes will be one big story broken into two pieces. So he's probably going to be someone who's helping the Doctor, Clara, and the Paternoster gang solve the Jack the Ripper mystery that's rumored to be the basis of that story. And my last big group of people, number 11, the Paternoster gang and Paul Hickey is Inspector Gregson. Everyone knows Madame Vostra, Jenny, and Strax, but Paul Hickey's Inspector Gregson character was last seen in The Snowman, the 2012 Christmas special. They'll all be part of that first episode. So that's all the new characters that we know about officially so far. But, you know, for instance, Neil Gaiman said that he's creating a new monster, and there's a couple episodes that we don't know anything about yet. I do have information on about 9 of the 13 episodes, but I'm going to save that for a future video, so be sure to subscribe to get it. Also, be sure to leave me suggestions for future bonus videos you want to see me do. We still have a long, long time before Series 8 premieres. I'm expecting it to come by the end of the summer or August at the latest, though. So, also, a lot of you have asked me about video updates too, so all you have to do is follow me on social, like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, I usually post updates there. So all the links for that are down at the bottom of the description. So right now you can click here to get my top 10 picks for brand new Time Lords in Series 8 or Series 9, and click here to get my top 10 scary episodes of classic Doctor Who. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you this weekend, Orphan Black is back, so everybody high fives.